hey guys welcome back to the channel i am back with my modification part two video you can call it diy decorating because you're going to get a little bit of that in this video i mentioned in that first video if you haven't seen it it's linked in the description box below so check it out i mentioned in that video that i was thinking about decorating well i am going to decorate <laughs> so you'll see some of that in this video i am going to wallpaper my bathroom i had asked you guys to give me some ideas on what to do with with my bathroom i couldn't decide on what i wanted to do and slim said to add some wallpaper behind my toilet so i'm going to do that today there's some shelves that i need to pick up and i got some more supplies coming in so i won't be able to show you everything in this video because i don't have everything I'm going to start with the wallpapers so i'm excited about that i did receive the comforter for my bed i told you i wanted to add some baby pink to my van so i found a comforter so i'm going to show you guys that i'm gonna lay the wallpaper then we're going to move over to the bedroom they have the grid lines on the back of this so it makes it easy for me to cut it without laying it down I'm going to use my scoring knife and I've already measured it I'm going to start from right to left laying this wallpaper because the left side is at a curve and I didn't realize that until I started cleaning the wall. So that's going to be fun to cut. <laughs> so I'm going to start on the easy side which is this right side here. These are the two tools that I am using for this project. So this one here is the X-Acto knife that's going to cut and this one here is going to smooth out the wallpaper. I waited to the warmest day to work on this project. It is toasting in this van. You probably can hear my ceiling fan going in the background. I wanted to turn on the air conditioner, but I need to clean out my vents first. I hope I press play on this camera. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not filming in selfie mode so that I can get a wider view. Okay. <laughs> I'm not filming in selfie mode so I can get a wider view so I had to double check and make sure I hit play. Because I did a lot of filming the other day and I didn't hit play. Taking the backing off. Like so. And I'm going to line it up. I realized what was wrong with the wallpaper in the kitchen is too thick so I need some thin wallpaper similar to what I have in my bedroom and this wallpaper is thin as well I can wrap it around the corner of those cabinets but that other wallpaper is too thick so I did order some other wallpaper and we're gonna see if that's gonna work One side done. I need to do the other side. <laughs> I measured and cut the other half of this wallpaper off camera. So last piece. Last piece. I wish it was long enough to where I didn't have to cut it. So now I just need to line it up. That's crooked, ain't it? <laughs> I think it's crooked. 
I'm trying to line that up with that. So I need to bring it up so even. I think it's even now. I can hear my every heartbeat. I can feel the blood rush through my veins. I love the way this wallpaper turned out. I'm gonna step out in just a second so you guys can see it. But it turned out great. Oh, the trash that we're back through. Okay. Ooh. Nice and toasty in this bathroom. <laughs> it didn't get hot. But yeah, it turned out great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you notice on the left side, the dashes are longer and then they get short as you go up and that's because the wall curves out. I love the way that the wallpaper turned out. I'm going to get a shelf to go across here and maybe add some greenery. I'm thinking about putting something in this spot here. We just have to see. I don't know. And then maybe something here. Maybe some black accent pieces or gold. We'll see. say thank you to everyone that gave me tips on this wallpaper here I appreciate that some people said to use a wallpaper primer some said to add some glue on the end of um, the wallpaper so that it lays flat on these corners this is too thick so I'm gonna take this down I've ordered some new wallpaper I'm gonna try that I'm not going to apply it in this video it's way too hot in this van so I'm gonna say that for a different day I wanted to show you guys so thank you again for all of the feedback on that I wanted to show you some of the storage containers that I have and but I need to open up this mattress pad and put it on my bed so I ordered a new comforter. You know, I was telling you guys that, that I wanted to add some baby pink to the van. So I found the comforter. I'm going to show you that in just a second. But I ordered a new mattress pad. I love the one that I had. It was perfect, but I need to be able to access things underneath my bed almost every day. So I'm having to fold my bed up. And the problem with that mattress um, pad that I had on there is too thick and I cannot fold my bed up and all of my work products is stored underneath the bed so I got something that's a little bit thinner I read the reviews on Amazon and it got really good reviews the mattress that's on here is a really good mattress but as you can see I'm thick I need a little extra cushion for these hips and so I needed something I need something on the bed the mattress that's on there it is comfortable and I've been sleeping without um, that mattress pad on there but my hips are starting to hurt so I got this one here that adds just a little bit of padding and it's gonna have to work but I do miss my old mattress it's about four inches thick so it was lots of padding so this here has a little bit of padding to it so it's not too thick and I'm still able to fold up my bed so I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. So my bed is a full at the top. Well, the bottom is a twin because it curves on the side here so that the doors can close. And I purchased a twin mattress pad instead of a full to save a little bit of money. 
but it works. <laughs> I ordered a few containers. These here are travel bags. Everything that I can find a link to that you guys are seeing in this video, I will link it in the description box so you can check it out. But these here are traveling bags. It was a set of three. I only needed two because I'm going to put my makeup in this one here. It's cheaper to get the three. So I'm going to put this one here in my bathroom cabinet. I'm going to use this for my larger items. This is going to go in the bathroom cabinet and then I can always find use of this one and then I'm going to put my makeup in this one here. I got this container here to put in my bathroom. I wanted to put in my bathroom cabinet to keep everything organized and so that I don't overfill that cabinet space. I tend to store things in the back of it and I don't want to do that. Hopefully this here will help to keep all of my items organized. Uh, so once I start adding um, my toiletries back to my cabinet, I'll show you guys that, but I'll let you see how it looks um, before I add those items in it. So this is gonna go in the bathroom cabinet. This is gonna go in the bathroom cabinet as well. I got this one here. Um, because I wanted a lid to items, but unfortunately it does not fit. So the bottom half of this fits perfect in the cabinet, but I cannot get this top part which has the lid on it. That's not going to work. This one here also fits in my bathroom cabinet. So I like both of them. I love that this one has a top because I got this little container here to put like my cotton balls, Q-tips and things like that in it. And it's perfect because it sits on top of it. Whereas this one here, I won't be able to sit anything on top of it. So I just got to decide on which one of these that I'm going to go with, but they both fit in that bathroom cabinet. So I'll show you that in just a second. Got these storage containers here. I wanted to use them underneath my cabinet. I cleaned everything out and I'm not going to put all that stuff that I originally had in my cabinet back in there. I have cubbies underneath my bed and I'm going to put things under there like my bug traps and rat traps, all that stuff that I've been carrying around for four years. I am going to put those things underneath that bed and make this a cute clean space. So that's what these containers here are for and I may use this one as well. I really love that bamboo wood. It's so pretty. So the cabinets that I'm going to, so the shelf that I'm going to put on my bathroom wall, I want it to be of this natural color here. So hopefully I can find some. So we'll see. All right. So those are the containers that I'm going to use in the bathroom. I got all of these containers that you see here from Home Goods. So I don't have any links to those, but if I can find something similar on Amazon, then I will link it in the description box of this video. Got these containers. I have two of these large containers here and I talked to you guys before that I am downsizing my clothes. I actually have already started. I made two trips to the thrift store yesterday and dropped off some clothes. So what I do have, I am going to fold them up. Well, let me rephrase that. The clothes that I plan on wearing often, I am working on my weight. I mentioned it, I think in my last video, I'm down 30 pounds. So right now I'm just pretty much wearing t-shirts and yoga pants. And so I'm gonna store those items in these containers now that I'm having to access things underneath my bed more often. I'm going to put my dresses and things like that in those drawers. And once I get to that part, I'll show you guys what will happen in another video. What I love about these containers is like having a drawer. I'm able to stack two containers on top of each other. The way that I fold up my clothes, I should be able to get oh, probably about 10 pair of my yoga pants in here and maybe a couple of shirts on the sides. I will show you guys that once I get to that. This may be a four or five part video. And it's a process of trying to redecorate this van and balance life and everything else that's going on. I'm not gonna rush through it, which I typically do. I try to get everything done at once, but I can't do that. So I'm just breaking the video up and getting things done as I can so yeah anyway so I'm going to put like my yoga pants and my t-shirts in these containers I've seen previous videos where I fold up my panties and I had those in 
um, those packing cubes. So I'm going to downsize my panties now that I have the washing machine and dryer. I can stay on top of those things and I'm not going to store as many panties as I have. I can't deny. I probably got about 90 pair of panties. I have a lot. I do shower twice a day. So I go through more panties than I do clothes. But anyway, so I am going to put them in this drawer here. I've already tested out in the cabinets and I can stack two of these on top of each other. At these um, for a while. I love them. The problem is I can't stack anything on top of them. So I'm going to use these containers in the place of these storage bins. And I really love these storage bins. I wish I can find another use for them. Maybe I can put, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I can use these for, but I do like these storage bins. They've been, they come in handy. They held up well, but I'm moving over to this system here. So yeah, so these are my storage containers. I got these from Home Goods. So I'm going to go back and get two more of these containers, two more of these large containers, and then um, a couple more of these smaller containers. So I'll show you guys how that looks in the cabinet. It fits perfect. I wanted to show you the containers and I love that you can stack two on top of each other so they give me more space yeah, and then that's the other one I still love those baskets but I like these clear containers a lot and I like that these containers are clear and I can see all of my clothes I want to show you that this bag it's perfect and that space so see I'm trying to do this and not bump the camera so some of my things are leaning to the side but anyways so it fits perfect and then on this side I like this container with the lid perfect in this spot and what I love about that lid is that I can sit things on top of it so I like that but ah, I don't want to break that if I use this container, it's hard doing this with one hand. <laughs> if I use that container, I can't sit anything on top of it. It gives me more space, but I can't sit anything on top of it. So I got to decide on what I'm going to do. Sorry, my camera was a little crooked. I'm going to make up my mind. I don't know. So in this bag here, I'm going to store. Um, like my shampoos, my conditioners, and things like that. And I gotta show you guys something. I got these from my follower Michelle. You put them on your wrist like so whenever you're washing your hair, and you don't have to worry about the water running down your arm. How cool is that? I'll link it in the description box below. All my sheets, I do buy full size sheets. I don't buy twin sheets um, because they don't fit that well. So these here are full size and I'll link them in the description box below. Decided to go with white sheets. I may change them out for some black hearts. I was thinking about doing hearts or maybe black and white stripes. But for now, I'm going to go with the white sheets. And then I may change it up. I've used these sheets before and they have held up. And they're really soft. So I'm going to link those in the description box. And they're not expensive at all. I'll link the sheets and the comforter in the description box.
best I can do. <laughs> Making this bed is a workout. Oh my God, I'm sweating. I am sweating. I thought about taking my steamer to get the wrinkles out, but I'm so hot right now, <laughs> I don't even care. I am sweating. Sweating. I should have turned on the air conditioning and did this. Because this is a twin size comforter, it only comes with one pillow sham. So, I gotta try to find another pink pillow sham. I don't even know what I did with it. So I thought that comforter came with one pink pillow sham. Maybe it didn't. I think I'm going to look for some black and white sheets. So I don't know if I'm going to go with black and white striped sheets or black and white hearts. I've done black and white circles and I think I've done black and white stars. So I may do black and white hearts. I saw some at Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn teens. Oh my God, they're so expensive. <laughs> Out of my budget. So I'm going to see if I can find a knockoff version. That'll work. This is it for now. I need to look for some throw pillows, a black pillow. And I think I may do maybe like a speckled or polka dot or something like a black and white mixed pillow. We have to see. Camera is not picking up the true color on this comforter. I just looked at the footage. I just filmed when I was making up the bed. It's not picking up the true color. It's showing it um, probably about six shades lighter than what it actually is. So this color is more of a dark, like a blush pink versus a baby pink, which is what's showing on the camera. So this is the other. So I ordered this duvet cover here. And this is a pink pink. And I was going to go with this color, but I really like the way that this look. So yeah, I'm going to stick with that. But I did like this one. It was hard to, it was hard to decide. And this is just a duvet cover, almost like a sheet. It's really thin. I ordered in the twin. All right, so this is it for the bed and the bedroom. Uh oh, turn off my lights. Okay, so this is it for the bed and the bathroom. Um, let me see. Oh, let me show you the rug that I got. Let me show you guys that. And then I'm going to wrap up this video. So I need to go take a shower before the campground office closed. Ah! Crap, my camera didn't fail. Let me reset that up. I angled the camera down so you guys can see this rug. I ordered this off of Amazon and they didn't have their measurements right because this rug is huge. <laughs> Look how big this rug is. There's no way it's going to go in this space. And I wanted to get like the Dalmatian print for this spot here. So I think black and white with this bedding will look really pretty. But this is too big. Way too big. I'm going to send that back to them and see if I can find something at, at home or maybe go back to home goods. I think I still got like $30 left on my gift card. So go back there. I'm going to take this off. I hate to waste this wallpaper. I hate to waste it. All right. Guys, that is it for today's video. This is, again, part two. There may be three or four parts to this video.